What's it been like for you going from Battlestar Galactica to Falling Skies? Oh, wow. Battlestar Galactica to Falling Skies. Uh, that's a five-year jump. Uh, there was a lot of stuff in between. Um, Falling Skies came about because David Icke, who is one of the creators of Battlestar, along with Ron Moore, uh, is show running season five of Falling Skies. And so he wrote a character for me and called me and he said, you got to come and do my show. And when friends like that call you and say, come and do their show, you don't say no, you go do their show. Um, so I had the advantage of Dave, who's an amazing guy and a great writer, uh, building something that's sort of tailored to me, the way he knows me, how I act, and what, what I would do well with. And so I just got to show up and play, and uh, yeah, that's it. It's, it, was, it was a great experience. I finally I got to shoot at home for once for a while, and uh, that's a great crew, a great cast. Noah's just a, an amazing guy, like just a really, he's a, I told him at the end of the show, you're a great number one for a show. He's, he's just a very calm, sweet guy, knows everybody's name and says good morning to everybody on his way in and good night to everybody on his way out. Uh, it was a really great experience for me. These are two very quality television sci-fi experiences. Talk a little about your character. In Falling Skies? I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. Uh, I'm uh, one of two brothers who are wandering around um, looking for specific people for specific reasons and bad things happen. What are your thoughts about the quality today of sci-fi on television, especially since Battlestar seemed to really raise the bar you know, five plus years ago? Uh, it's finally catching up to my expectations and what I want to see on TV. Uh, TV has now, in my mind, replaced film for a lot of the great work that's going on. And it's nice to see that it's not just dramas and not just comedies, but sci-fi is actually getting its own run and, and horror is getting a little bit of a run and uh, fantasy is getting its own run. And they're doing quality work, great writing, and it's not kitschy and campy, it's, it's solid stuff uh, that's sort of based in our world, um, reflecting the world of today, but also having that great piece of imagination where you can take it anywhere. Battlestar still lives on through the Battlestar Galactica online video game. Have you ever checked that out? I've heard about it. I've watched people play it. Um, I am just not coordinated enough to be able to pull that off. So uh, it's, it's something that I let other people do. Falling Skies also has a mobile game and a console game coming out. What are your thoughts about that whole battle between aliens and humans? Uh, wow. Battle between aliens and humans. I think if... if uh, a, uh, a sentient species can make it all the way to Earth, I think we're going to lose. <laughs> I really do. I think we're done. I mean, we can barely get to Mars. We can't get people to Mars yet. So if they can come over light years and light years and light years, I think, uh, yeah, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson has proved it on Cosmos that we're fracked. <laughs> when it comes to video games, did you play it all growing up? Do you have any memories? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had uh, the Atari, I had Coleco, and then I moved up into... Um, like Nintendo and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, as it is now, I remember the days when there was like four buttons and I could press it. Now, it's like, fly, it's like flying an F-16. There's 18 different buttons for each hand and you just, I don't understand it. I, it's, it's a little too, I, mean, I, I never, nothing makes me feel like an old man than somebody handing me one of these new controllers and going, here, come play this with me. Like, you know what? Wii Bowling, it's great. Tiger Woods for Wii. Done, I can do that, absolutely. Um, I, I love playing Buzz with my friends, but once it gets into like these first person shooter things where every button does something, I get killed so fast, it's just painful. And I have a big game coming out next month called Watch Dogs for Ubisoft. Oh, yeah, it's, a huge game. it's a huge game, it's gonna be a monster, monster game, and there's no way that I have the skill to play it, at all, <laughs> there's none. My son will destroy me, but uh, it'll be fun. <laughs>